you've been watching my vlogs, I'm sure you're well aware that I'm a huge fan of Our Lady of Medjugorje. Many people believe that Mary has been appearing since 1981 in a small town called Medjugorje in Bosnia. Mary is concerned that so many people have forgotten about her son, Jesus, and that we have so many problems and turmoil in the world that there's just no peace. She wants us to go back to Jesus, to get closer to Jesus again. And that if we have a relationship with Jesus, then he will fill us with peace, and then we can give that peace to other people in the world. And then, hopefully, the world would become a better place and a place of peace. Mary tells us that we can get closer to Jesus by doing five things. First, we must pray every single day from our hearts. Second, we must go to Mass at least every Sunday. Third, we need to be reading the scriptures every single day. Fourth, we must go to confession at least once a month. And fifth, we must fast. Now, let me tell you a little bit about each one of these and how they help us get closer to Jesus and to God. Praying, of course, when we pray, we are talking with God. It's just like if two people are having a conversation, the more they talk, the closer they get. If they stop talking, they kind of drift apart. It's just like that with God and us. If we stop talking to God, then we tend to drift away from him. Second, going to Mass. Why is that so important? Every time we go to Mass, we meet Jesus in the Eucharist. Going back to those two people that meet all the time, they become good friends, and if they don't meet, then their friendship goes away. It's the same when we meet Jesus. The more we meet Jesus, the more we have Eucharist, the closer we become to him. And when we don't, we drift away. Third, reading the Bible. Why is that important? Because the Bible, when we read it, we tend to learn a lot more about God and about Jesus. Confession is the fourth thing. And why is that important? Because that's where we're forgiven. When people are fighting or have an argument, they need to forgive each other and it brings them closer to each other. Just like when we sin and we tell God how sorry we are, he forgives us, he gives us grace. And we get closer to him. And then we can have a, go on having a good life as a Christian. And fifth, why is fasting so important? Well, fasting is a way for us to learn to say no. And by saying no to certain foods, it serves as a practice for helping us say no to sin and to temptation and helping us follow God's will. Today in the gospel, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. And what does that mean? Well, in olden times, people relied heavily on bread for their food. If they didn't have it, they would starve and die. It's the same thing with Jesus. We rely on Jesus to give us life. If we didn't have Jesus, we would be lost. So I hope that today's gospel will inspire each and every one of us to say yes, that we need to follow Jesus and that he is our bread of life.